how to turn on the hired foot chick sound when triggering and using a uh, hi-hat um, controller plugged into your SPD-SX Pro. Hi, I'm Toby from ableton.com and I quickly want to show you how this is set up and it needs to be quite with uh, pressed with quite some energy here to produce some sound. So per default, um, this um, chick signal MIDI note is only active if you activate it for one internal pad sound inside the Roland SPD-SX Pro. I'm not sure why Roland did it this way. Um, it makes things a little bit more complicated than it should, but I quickly want to show you how you can set this up. So let's say you are using your SX only to trigger MIDI, to send over MIDI maybe to trigger um, some sounds plus some changes in Ableton Live, and then you might want to be able to make use of this. So per default, if we um, just do it in a and an empty kit in Ableton Live uh, in, on the SX, it's not sending any MIDI over. And we can use my uh, pop-up MIDI, MIDI monitor device here to monitor if there is any MIDI um, coming in. And currently only the position should show up. Yeah, it's showing up. CC4 for pedal and the different values here. But um, if I block it and clear that, we can see no MIDI note is coming in here. So first of all, you need to make sure that your MIDI note is being turned on, the MIDI note for your hired foot pedal. And this per default, it is actually. So if you go to the menu and let me quickly think, it should be, under, yeah, kit edit, uh, under the MIDI kit edit. So if we go to kit edit two, go to kit MIDI, press enter. You can see down here, closed pedal CC, uh, not closed pedal, sorry, number 444, uh, G sharp two should be G sharp one in Ableton language or in most um, standardized general MIDI stuff, it is called G sharp two in Roland and they are just starting at a different octave. Okay, so you can, if that's not being turned on, just go there. Sorry, it's a little bit close and you can change the values here. So if it's on value 44, then you are, you're sending the right MIDI note pitch here. Okay, so even if that's being turned on, and to be honest, let, let me just quickly show you. Um, you can even turn this off here, yeah? So uh, I think if you go all the way up, you can set this to off. So if that's set to off, and now um, we are selecting a number, it's set to on, so I would expect this to play now, but it's not. So um, Roland made things a little bit complicated here for no reason, actually. So... Because if we're using only MIDI here, it just should send uh, the note through now. But you would need to apply this to a pad, to a pad um, where you're playing sound. So for example, if we select Kit Edit 1, we go to Pad Edit, we press Enter. And now we don't use any sounds on the, <laughs> from, the, from the SX here, the SX Pro. But we still need to apply this thing here. So if we go arrow up, we are getting to this plat, play uh, pad edit um, function here. And here we want to set the layer type, even if we have no sounds on here. We want to set the layer types. If I get over here under single, you have the first, sorry, it's really, really, um, small now, I guess. Um, the layer type is per default set to mix and you want to set this one to high it. And guess what's happening now? We're getting this note here. And this note is triggering uh, triggering or being sent to a drum rack here to the hi-hat foot, which is note pitch 44, um, G sharp one in general, MIDI standard. So this is how you can turn this on if you're using your Essex Pro 
for uh, sending MIDI note over to um, a different um, sampler um, triggering those sounds. In my case, this is Ableton Live. 